I welcome Lucio Cabeza here with me. You have a PhD in industrial engineering and you are a professor at the uni Spanish University in Leida. On this conference, you are hold a speech, a keynote on the potential of solar heat for industrial processes, which is actually still a niche market all around the world. So what made you focus on this topic? Because I'm actually giving this uh, keynote on behalf of a Spanish platform called Solar Concentra, which is uh, dealing with the mid-temperature solar energy. And of course, for them, uh, one of the main um, business or issue is the process heat. So whom do you group with in this platform? Is it industry as well as researchers? Yes, it's like a European-based uh, platform, but this one is only Spanish. In Spain, we have replicated quite well the concept of platforms, a technological platform. And in this one, for example, we have mainly industry. Uh, all the industry that works with mid medium temperature um, solar, for example, producers of solar collectors, but mostly would be like vacuum tubes or Fresnel or these kind of technologies, and then the uses and, and all of this. And then, of course, we have representatives from research centers and universities and associations. So do you see potential for solar process heat in Spain? There is a lot. There is a lot. And as with all the solar things in Spain, there is a, this is a really uh, something that needs to be done. We have a lot of solar energy. And, and it's a pity that we are not using it, of course. How about uh, the industry side? I mean, industry has always difficulties to invest in areas which is not their core business. Would ESCOs, like energy service contracts, help to implement more solar process heat? In fact, I think that's the way to go. Um, there are industries which are brave enough to go into these technologies, but most of them, as you say, they, they are hesitant. That's not their core business, and they see diversing their, their business or having people who are experts in things which are not their core business. Therefore, if we can get an entrepreneur uh, or a bigger industry which their job is to sell uh, hot water to the industry and their business is to produce it from solar energy or to use it from, for example, waste heat from the next or a hybrid hybridization of both, things like this, that's the way to go. Then the industry would be much more comfortable to use that and they would have cheaper energy. Did your platform develop any um, requirements towards authorities or policies? What must be changed so that it's easier to implement solar process heat, like frame conditions? Yes, and actually when the platform started, we had the right legal framework in Spain to do that. But unfortunately, you know that lately our legal framework is absolutely not the right one. So let's say that now we are kind of like more producing it by ourselves, waiting for a better moment to go back to the politicians. Uh, but that's the point. We need to facilitate to the politicians to do the right regulations. And without us, they cannot do it. So what are right regulations? Can you precise that? Well, uh, for me, what it's not right is what we have now, that if you produce your energy, you have to pay to drop it into the, ne into the network or the grid. Uh, but I'm sure that also what we had before, and that's a personal opinion, it's also not right because too many um, uh, feeding tariff is not good also. So we have to go into an equilibrium where there is enough help from, from the government with feeding tar tariff or not or whatever, or, you know, like paying less taxes or whatever that helps the industry to go into this business. Uh, but neither what we had before, neither what we have now, it's the right um, so a big challenge in front of you. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.